Hello guys, this is Ansab and you are watching Nerdy Ansab YouTube channel. So this is our third video on XAMPP Web Server course on Windows. So in this video we will see how you can install an SSL on your XAMPP domain. So for this video you need to watch my second video of XAMPP Web Server course on Windows because this video is linked to second video. So after that you can start this video. So let's see how to do this. First open your Internet Explorer or any browser and go to this website sslforfree.com and now enter your website. So here you will enter your website what we have registered on freenom in second video so sign to your freenom account and go to your domains and you can see nerdyunserp.tk was our domain so just enter dot tk so this website will give you a free ssl so you will get a free ssl from this website so now click on manually verification dns <coughs> and click on manually verification and now this will give you some code so it is saying add txt record with the name this so save this text from here copy and click on manage domain and now manage freenom dns and now click on here and paste that name and after that type to txt select this to txt and time to live to 300 seconds and after this select this code and paste it here so you can check it ok and now click on more record and again like this select this copy this and change it to txt and again ttl to 300 seconds and here select this copy again come to this here paste this so you can check last y and k and now click on save changes so when you click on save changes from that time it will it will take at least five minutes to make changes so now record edit successfully so after five minutes click here to verify if these record edit successfully or not so now you can see no txt record found so it will take at least five minutes so now uh, we can configure our XAMPP settings So go to your XAMPP installation folder, then Apache, CONF, Extra, and in last video we have created a virtual host. So here is our location, web, and this file. So edit file with any text editor. So this was for port 80, which is HTTP, and now we will add 
four port four four three which is this which is four four three so you need some code for that you can get this code I will add this code in description of this video you can get it from here so now copy this code and paste in this file okay paste it and just control as save okay and now you have to wait f at least for five minutes to get this process complete so I am skipping this video so now our uh, five minutes are completed so just we need to go to this link to check if it is working or not so you can see txt code found this with this key so this warning is about ttl is not one second so free norm ttl is uh, 300 seconds minimum so we can set it to one second and just check another also okay and you can see it is also added successfully so now we need to download SSL certificate so it is generating our SSL certificate Google Chrome Pinterest checked okay and remember uh, if uh, on clicking download button uh, you land on some error page and not this uh, and not on page like this so just don't uh, go back and click on download button again uh, your file will not be download uh, so what you need to do is uh, go to your freenome uh, management tool and then delete those uh, two um, records which we have added just uh, now so delete them and go to ssl.ssl4free.com again and again enter your website it will give you some fresh records so just add those fresh records and again wait for five minutes verify them and then again click on download button until this kind of page appears otherwise at um, at last when you will uh, try your uh, domain with zamp it will give some kind of mismatch error with uh, records mismatch error with um, your server and your domain so just uh, don't uh, do it like this uh, um, add fresh records and here uh, download all SSL certificate files so these are three files which you need to download and save this file and view downloads okay now go to your download location and extract this okay and here you can see these files CA bundle certificate and private key so just rename it to server S server and private to also server and then copy all these files and go to your apache folder and conf and paste these files here so ca bundle dot crt file server dot crt and server dot key I renamed this because you can see <coughs> in our this file <coughs> we have mm, location as ca bundle dot crt server dot crt and server dot key so that's why I renamed it <coughs> from private to server dot key <coughs> so now you can you need to paste these file in these <coughs> locations so first ca bundle dot crt in this location c zam apache config ssl so go to these locations mm, copy c ssl ca bundle dot crt 
so go to SSL folder okay can make new folder SSL okay paste this file and config SSL dot CRT server dot CRT so copy server dot CRT file SSL dot CRT and delete this file just paste your file and see the location of this file server dot key in SSL dot key server dot key in <coughs> SSL dot key and paste your file and after this go to your virtual host file and edit and then remove all these hashes so just uncomment all these lines and now you need to change these things so change it to like this in this file in this code <coughs> okay Navidian sub tk so Navidian sub dot tk Navidian sub dot tk and here logs instead of example right Navidian sub tk and here also write Meridian so take a like this file and just you can cross check this so save this file control s and then close this file and after this <coughs> start Apache services so Apache start Here you can see it is using port 4434 HTTPS and port 80 for HTTP which is by default. So open your web browser and type nerdiansub.tk so you can see our website. Hi, this is nerdiansub and type here HTTPS. Nerdiansub.tk and you can see here okay we have certificate and connection to the server is encrypted but uh, you can see when I type here nerdiansub.tk by default it is just opening nerdiansub.tk not https nerdiansub.tk so to solve this problem we, we need to add this stss file so this is the code of this file just three lines of code and you can get this code in description of this video so just copy this file and paste in your xam directory htdocs and nerdy and sub tk and where your index pages there you just press so this file don't have any name just dot ht a double c e double s no name just dot and extension is ht a double c e double s and now stop same services and now start again 
and now you can see so just type an er divine radiance of door tk and you can see by default it will take you to the https so these two videos were about getting a free domain and configuring with apache web server xamp web server and getting a free ssl so if you like this video then please thumbs up and also share this video with your friends and subscribe my youtube channel and also don't don't forget to press the bell icon so this course will continue with another topics so stay tuned for the next video thank you bye